I've also called myself to judgment. I cannot have the joy of knowing that I always found a shining reflection of honor and wisdom in the mirror of my soul on those occasions. I've given myself more harrowing pain than anyone else has ever been capable of giving me. No one else can inflict the hurt of fate unkept. I've had the corroding insight at times of recognizing that I am a bundle of sham and tinsel. Honest metal and sincerity that cannot be untangled. My dross has given my other parts great sorrow. But on the other hand, I've given myself the pleasure of sunrises blooming out of oceans and sunsets drenching heaped up clouds. I have walked in storms with a crown of clouds about my head and the zigzag lightning playing through my fingers. The gods of the upper air have uncovered their faces to my eyes. I've made friends with trees and veils. I found out that my real home is in the water, that the earth is only my stepmother. My old man, the sun, sired me out of the sea. Like all mortals, I've been shaped by the chisel in the hand of chance, bulged out here by a sense of victory, shrunken there by press of failure and the knowledge of unworthiness. But it has given me, it has been given to me to strive with life and to conquer the fear of death. I have been correlated to the world so that I know the indifference of the sun to human emotions. I know that destruction and construction are but two faces of Dame Nature and that it is nothing to her if I choose to make personal tragedy out of her unbreakable laws. So I ask of her a few things. May I never do good consciously, nor evil unconsciously. Let my evil be known to me in advance of my acts, and my good when nature wills. May I be granted a just mind and a timely death. While I am still far below the allotted span of time and notwithstanding, I feel that I have lived. I have the joy and the pain of strong friendships. I have served and been served. I have made enemies of which I am not ashamed. I have been faithless, and then I have been faithful and steadfast until the blood ran down into my shoes. I have loved unselfishly with all the ardor of a strong heart, and I have hated with all the power of my soul. What waits for me in the future? I do not know. I cannot even imagine, and I'm glad for that. But already, I have touched the four corners of the horizon. For from heart searching, it seems to me that tears and laughter, love and hate, make up the song 